Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, I was lucky enough to get All Powers to uh, send me another solar panel to review. Uh, last year, they gave me the 200 watt solar panels to review, uh, which I'm still using, and I really like them a lot. Um, but they sent me the 400 watt solar panel, which would be perfect for my uh, situation. Instead of having to put up the two 200 watt solar panels, I just have to put the one 400 watt solar panel up uh, because I mainly use my uh, portable battery uh, for my Starlink uh, when I'm boondocking or not plugged in. So this 400 watt solar panel will be perfect because the uh, Blue Eddy AC180 will take uh, up to 500 watts of solar. And this is 400 watts of solar. So yeah, that'll be a perfect test for it, which we're going to plug in and set up later. Um, but first, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, it's quite large, as you can see. And it's probably about what? It's about a third of the size bigger than the 200 watt panel, and it's a little bit thicker than the 200 watt panel, but it can still go where I put it in the back of my vehicle in that small little space, uh, which is very uh, handy, obviously. As you can see, all the specs are right here on the bag. It's a 37.4 uh, volt or 400 watt solar panel. The peak power is 400 watts, plus or minus 5%. The open circuit voltage is 45.3 volts. Uh, the short circuit current is 11.45 amps. The maximum power voltage is 37.4 volts. And the maximum power current is 10.6 amps. Uh, the solar energy conversion rate is anywhere from 19 to 22 percent, which is very good. Uh, hopefully it does that on our tests. Let's see what it has inside the little pouch here. All right, so you got your wires with your MC4 connectors, obviously, which are the best. What's this? So they gave you a whole bunch of uh, carabiners here. I guess that's for uh, these little hoops if you want to hang your solar panel up somewhere. Which is great. The other uh, solar panel didn't come with any carabiners. And then it's got a uh, MC4 to XD60. And it's got MC4 cables to... Uh, I guess those are called bullet plugs. <laughs> uh, two different versions of it, I guess. Okay, that just sits over top of the other one. And an instruction manual. Now one thing I have to say right off the bat about this solar panel is it's fairly heavy. Uh, I think it's heavier than those two solar panels put together. Maybe I just haven't carried the two at a time. But this is, uh, I think, like 40, almost 41 pounds of weight. So it's pretty big. So I don't know if I'd call, call it a <laughs> portable solar panel per se, but it's a folding solar panel. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's got nice robust legs on it. We're just going to move it over into the sun, uh, out of the way of Miss Uma so she doesn't knock it over. And, uh, we'll do a real time setup since I've never set this up before. See how long it takes me to deploy it with it being so huge. And then we'll see, uh, how much power we're actually getting out of this thing. So I'll be right back. All right, this looks like fairly fat, flat ground over here. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, so like I did with the uh, 200 watt solar panel, is I did one panel at a time, pulling the leg out and putting it down, opening this up, pulling the leg out, and so on. All right, well, that was nice and easy to set up anyway. I'm going to go grab the uh, battery and plug it in.
All right, so for this test, I'm not using the uh, cables that came with the solar panel. I'm using the cable that came with the Blue Eddy AC180, uh, just because I know it's the right size barrel plug on this. So yeah, let's plug it in and see what we got. Okay, we're at 60% battery right now. And it's climbing, it's showing 200, 266, 301, 321, 327, 329. So it seems to be stopping around 327, 329, which is pretty good. 330, nice. So it's only saying it's going to take 1.6 hours to charge up from 60%, which is awesome. So one thing I am noticing right off the bat when I came around the corner here is there is a little bit of a, a bow in the solar panels uh, from the size of them, which uh, is pretty obvious. But uh, yeah, I'm not on the most level ground either. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Let's see what we're at back here. Yeah, 327.25 already up to 61 percent up a percent not bad 328 watts i like that that's a good number for me yeah so it's 1.5 hours there i don't know if you can see it with the screen flickering like this all right so it is 11 minutes after two right now so we'll see how long it takes for the solar panels to charge it up but yeah, so far so good. I'm liking these numbers. I like the way it's set up easily. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. <laughs> Another thing I'm liking on the back here is there is uh, individual legs uh, for each solar panel. Where other solar panels I've seen will only have three, maybe four with a big gap in between. Where then you really get the bad swoop in the solar panels. They really sag a lot. So yeah, that's definitely a bonus for uh, these solar panels. Having all those big robust legs and they're pretty big too they're pretty wide i'd say that's like six inches wide at least if not more i think this is definitely going to work out really well uh, having these solar panels strictly for my uh, portable battery uh, what i was doing last year in the summertime was i was running my starlink solely off the uh, blue eddy battery uh, so that i wasn't draining my house batteries at all which was working out great for me and now with these solar panels It'll stay charged all day long, and with the summer hours being daylight until, you know, nine-ish at night, I'll be uh, good for solar for my Blue Eddy, and I can keep my other panels for uh, charging up my house batteries, since I have the plug on the side of my van. So yeah, it's a bonus every way. I think this is going to work out really well. I don't know if I'll ever use the carabiners or not, <laughs> because I'll either be deploying it this way or playing it flat if it's windy that's what I had to do last year in Arizona when it was windy in the desert they were just getting blown over all the time and I was concerned about them getting scratched and so on uh, so I just laid them down and they worked almost just as efficiently laying down or well better than nothing right so yeah we'll continue on and I'll be back when it's fully charged all right guys coming out to check it is now 320 so an hour and 10 minutes in holy cow we're 99 percent so it's going to take 0.1 hour so that's only been an hour and 10 minutes from 60 percent that's really good nice we're at 100 percent so it is 3 34 p.m so what was that 2 11 so like an hour and a half so it was less than what it said on the thing that's great that it charged it so quickly. I like it. So yeah, that's fully charged up. I can plug that in. So on a normal day, if I was setting this up, I would keep these plugged in. And as the Starlink was using power, these would be more or less used as pass-through charging. That the battery would stay at 100% all day long until the sun goes down. So yeah, not bad for an hour and a half for 40% uh, to charge the battery. I like it. I think these are uh, well worth the, the price. So yeah, there's a lot I like about this 400 watt solar panel. Like I said, I only have to set up the one uh, solar panel instead of setting up two and plugging them together, getting the extension cord out, etc, etc. 
pulls in a nice amount of wattage as far as I'm concerned. The legs are nice and robust for keeping it up. You know, time will tell on that one whether they start to sag a little bit more or whatever. But uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be using these uh, hooks for the carabiners or anything. But you never know. I think the only con that I can think of on these would be the weight of it. Although I'm not really, you know, I'm not taking these on a hike with me or anything else. I'm just setting them up outside the van and close to the Starlink or close to the Blue Eddy. So yeah, I cannot complain. I really like these all-power 400 watt solar panels. I definitely 100% recommend them. All right, I'm going to put a uh, link in the description below. And if you follow that link, I get a small commission if you purchase the solar panels through my link. I think I might even have a uh, discount code down there. So check it out and uh, get yourself some awesome solar panels. If you haven't already, guys, subscribe if you want to see more uh, reviews like this. And we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.